Hello everyone. We will be solving this given exponential cum radical equation to find the value of x. Our equation is x raised to the power x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 2 under root. So in the first step, I am going to multiply the exponent with 6 on both sides. So this equation is x raised to the power x raised to the power 6 multiply the exponent with 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 2 under root multiply the exponent with 6 on this side. So in the next step I am going to change the position of this exponent this 6 come in here and same on this side. So this equation can be written as x raised to the power 6 times x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 6 times 2 under root because we know that the law of the exponent if x raised to the power a raised to the power b this can be written as x raised to the power b raised to the power a. So in the next step, this equation can be written as x raised to the power 6 raised to the power x raised to the power 6 because we know that if x raised to the power a times b this can be written as x raised to the power a raised to the power b. So this is equal to 2 under root. This 6, if I write 3 times 2 times this 2 under root. So in the next step, this is further equal to x raised to the power 6 raised to the power x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3 times this 2 I am going to write 2 under root times 2 under root because we know that 2 under root times 2 under root is equal to 2 times this 2 under root. So this equation is further equal to x raised to the power 6 raised to the power x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3 times 2 under root raised to the power 3. So in the next step, I am going to change the position of this exponent by this law. So this equation can be further written as x raised to the power 6 raised to the power x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 under root raised to the power 3 by this law. So when you compare the both sides of this equation, you can easily say that x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3 and this x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3. So by comparing, you can say that x raised to the power 6 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3. Now, taking the cube root on both sides, so this equation is x raised to the power 6 times 1 over 3 is equal to 2 under root raised to the power 3 times 
1 over 3. This 3 cancel with 3 and 3 times 2 is 6. So this is x raised to the power 2 is equal to 2 under root. Now taking the square root on both sides. So this is x raised to the power 2 square root is equal to square root of 2 and square root of this whole. So this square and this square root will cancel. So this is further equal to x is equal to plus minus 2 under root this to the power under root. We know that there is 2 here and 2 here. So this 2 multiply with this 2. So this is x is equal to plus minus the fourth root of This is my final answer. X is equal to plus minus the fourth root of 2. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.